Okay, so take three. Hopefully this video doesn't get fucked up this time. Uh, my mom interrupted my videos, so now I get to do it again, which is no big deal. So, um, how are y'all doing? Today is October 12th, 2024. I'm trying to regain that uh, relaxation because this is the third take of having to do this video. So I'm a little, I'm getting a little annoyed and tired a little bit. But um, anyway, we are finally at the weekend again, obviously. Um, my weekend started yesterday. Thursday, uh, just going to continue from there, which was the 10th. I'm uploading the video from Thursday. Um, it went by, came and gone well, you know. Um, yeah, you know, of course, Stacia was annoyed that, um, you know, they screwed up the closet a little bit. You know, they, uh, again, check out the older videos, uh, me explaining the stories of the the valentina the gm ransacking our closet and it it sucked i mean i mean i didn't really care but it, it sucked for people so it wasn't really hurting anybody but anyway so yeah today's october tw uh, 12th we are less than three weeks from halloween um to make my room kind of pizzazzy which again i gotta clean up in here a little i decided to Pull out my horror movies. I, I pulled them out a while ago. I pulled them out to make some space. Uh, I might... I wish I could get some shelves in here so I could put some stuff up to make it look nice. But honestly, it's cramped as hell in here. And and, and I've never really been the kind to make my, my room look crazy all over the place with posters and collections of things on the walls, you know, of of, of whatever, right? Of collect, collector stuff, you know, I'm... I'm I've always been just to have a bed, a TV, uh, my pet spider, you know, some posters in here, but other than that, or they're not posters, but they're all like quotes and some paintings, you know, that were given to me. It makes my room look okay, you know, I'll try to fix that a bit. There we go. That was crooked. I've been noticing that for a minute. It's not crooked anymore. It's actually fallen on me a couple times that uh that painting poster right painting right there it's a painting it's a it's a painting these are both paintings but anyway yeah they're, they're they make my room look nice so like i was saying i decided to bust out the horror movies you know that i have had tucked away in my toques for a while you know I, i've i've had a bunch of miscellaneous stuff that i Never used, so I tucked them away. But I decided to make some room for with my Xbox. And now that I have a 4K TV, and um, let me see. Let me turn on the Blu-ray. That should still be there. Hmm. Oh, maybe, maybe. I'll install it in a bit. I'm not too in a rush for it. Anyway, so I'm going to try to make this quick so I can plop one of them in there. I decided to bust out my old horror movies, like I said. And these are the only movies I have. I had a few others, but they're actually with other people upstairs. And I think Victoria destroyed them. Uh, I'll get them back, probably. Probably not. It hasn't been my biggest interest to buy movies anymore. But I tried to make a collection... Because I used to have a cousin in Bakersfield who fucking had tons of movies. Had a whole case full of movies, a uh, cover full of movies. And I thought, huh, that's not a bad idea. But all in all, again, it just never really fell in my interest. But I used to love watching slasher films when I was a kid. I used to love watching slasher films. Uh, so, obviously I've grown apart from that. Um, it's not my biggest interest to watch slasher films anymore. But I used to love these fucking slasher films, man. <clears throat> so, we'll start off with the first two that I bought. Uh, again, there's only five here. But one of them has eight movies. So, it's actually 13 movies. Which is ironic, because I'll get to the last one. Yeah, there's 13 movies in total. Which is kind of funny. I didn't even realize. Well, actually. 
Oh, 12. Actually, 12. Dang it. I, I thought it was going to be close. But anyway. So I don't know if, I'm, if I bought one more than probably. But anyway, so we begin off with the first two movies that I bought in 2018. We I think we were heading to church or something. I don't know. I got the 40th edition of Halloween. Uh, this is the original 1978 movie. I got it in 4K and Blu-ray. So for the longest time, I never had a 4K TV until recently. And then I have my... And at the time in 2018, I only had a small flat screen TV. And I had an original Xbox, which you can't play 4K movies on either of those. Original Xbox One. I mean, not not an original Xbox, um, but an Xbox One. And, uh, uh, I had a, a small flat screen TV, which is actually up here. It's just chilling up there. It's it's a backup TV, but I've never had to use it. So, so I bring I use that camera or I use that TV for my my mini TV camera, so I could watch it on the TV. My Vizio TV, however, is locked away. I still have it, but it's not. It's in. Kind of a backup TV, but again, I ain't trying to fuck this TV up because it's a fantastic TV. But yeah, so I bought this in 2018 after the 40-year anniversary of terror. Spooky. But yeah, so this is the back. It only comes with the Blu-ray and the 4K. I wanted to get the 4K for the day when I do get a 4K Ultra TV, but... By the way, I did not just but now bust these movies out. I busted these movies out like a few weeks ago when I went to organize my room a bit. But yeah, so pretty cool, huh? You know, 4K Halloween. Um, scary poopoo. -poo. Okay, but yeah, so the original 1978 film. I'm actually going to wipe this off because I noticed it has a bit of fingerprints on it, which this is a cardboard case, by the way which I could slide out. And yeah, it's a smaller plastic. These are what the discs look like. Yeah, the Blu-ray and then you got the 4K. Pretty cool, huh? But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try out the 4K uh, Ultra today uh, after I finish this video. So the same day I got the 4K 40th anniversary of Halloween, I also got Halloween 2. So this is a, just Blu-ray. Uh, it's the Shout Factory, Scream Factory, Collector's Edition. This is the original 1981 movie. Um, direct sequel to Halloween, obviously. And, and I say that because there's another direct sequel to Halloween, which I also have. But yeah, so this is the original movie. It's really too bad John Carpenter doesn't like it. Honestly, I love this one. This is the top three. Top three, which are the three that I have. And I'll explain why I don't get more. So I bought these two the same day uh, back in 2018. I don't know when in 2018, but I'm pretty sure it was obviously the end of the year at some point. So, and I remember, I, yeah, the sides of the box as well. Yeah. Yeah. Halloween and Halloween 2. So then I bought these three. I bought these three the same day as well. When? I don't know. But obviously it must have been 2019. This movie, both of these movies came out in 2018. Um, I think I bought them in 2019. I don't know when. It might have been a year after they came out. I'm not really sure. But this is also a direct sequel to the 1978 movie Halloween. So, by the way, like I said, it only come, this one only comes with the discs. This one comes with the digital code. I have never used it, and I'm pretty sure it expired. So, it's just kind of sad. You know, it's just the Blu-ray and the 4K, but in all reality, I don't really care. You know, the movie's free anyway on Peacock, so it's not a big major loss. But, um, yeah, this is the 2018 movie, basically the direct sequel to Halloween. Uh this is my next favorite. Obviously, the first one is my favorite, hands down. But the these two, I like... Oh, shit. I like them both equally for their own reasons. Every other Halloween movie that came out, you know, 3, Season of the Witch, 
they really shouldn't. I, I get they were trying to go the anthology route, but uh, it really it really is too bad because it could have been a good movie if it was its own thing. But because they branded it as Halloween three, it was doomed to fail. Uh, you know, they tried to make it an anthology series, which is really too bad because it was an OK movie. But it's, I, I don't care for season of, like, season of the witch anyway. And then four, five, and six, uh, those are the worst ones, in my opinion. People like four, but five and six are the worst ones. And H2O, which is the seventh Halloween movie, I do genuinely like seven H2O better than four, five, and six, and definitely Resurrection. I don't like Resurrection, which is the eighth one, the sequel to H2O. Yeah, the Resurrection was not that good either. I, those, yeah, four, five, and six, and eight. Those are the ones I don't like. Halloween H two O I do like, but it's it's not really all that. It's probably the best worst worst one, I guess I could say. Uh, yeah, the, it's the twentieth anniversary H two O nineteen ninety eight movie. You know, which is a sequel. It's weird. So it's weird. There's different timelines. My bed isn't made. So there's Halloween, Halloween 2, Halloween 4, 5, and 6. And then they stop that timeline, which is the worst timeline, in my opinion. And then Halloween 3 is its own movie. Like I said, Halloween 3 is its own movie. It really isn't related to the Michael Myers movies. So then there's Halloween, Halloween 2, and then there's H2O and 8. That's its own timeline as well. But... They canceled eight because of a death. You know, the Mustafa Akadu, I think that's how you pronounce his name. The the guy who titled it Halloween and obviously did more uh, than that um, died in a bombing. Rest in peace. Um, you know, passed away in 2005. So they canceled Halloween 9, I guess you could call it. So pretty much... Um, that's when the Rob Zombie movies came out. The first one is okay for Rob Zombie. It's I don't care to buy the the, the movie. Uh, better than four, five, and six and Resurrection, but personally, I don't care for the remake, the Rob Zombie remakes. I never really liked Rob Zombie's movies. They're they're too fucking violent. They're a little too violent, which is kind of funny, uh, you know, because all these movies are violent. But two is ridiculously violent. And it wasn't that good. It really wasn't that good anyway. But the first movie was okay. I do like the first remake. The Rob Zombie remake to the original. But not enough for me to buy a disc. But I did rent it out. And I did want I, I, I did want the remake. I, when I first started buying these movies. I did want to get the remake. But I just never came around to it. And then Halloween 2. I, do, I don't care for the, the remake. But anyway, yeah, so after that, there's the, the, the final timeline as of lately, right now, there's the Halloween, and instead of Halloween 2, it's Halloween 2018. So it's, it's one, the first one, and then 2018. This is the direct sequel to the first Halloween, but Halloween 2018 and 2... I, I, I like 2018 more, honestly, and then two, if I had to really make a ranking of the three. Definitely the first one, and then 2018, and then two. But, you know, I like two, but the rest of them, I don't care to buy the CDs for. I really don't. But anyway, the same time that I bought Halloween, I bought this one movie. Uh, not a lot of people know it. Uh, I bet you don't, but some people might, really, who are hardcore diehard fans might. This movie came out on my birthday in 2018, September 28th. I remember hearing the announcement. I wanted to see it in theaters, but I, ne I, I never got around to it. Hellfest. I wish they called it Fright Fest, but I don't know, because they actually do call them Fright Fests, like at Wild Waves here. They, they they do a yearly event called Fright Fest. So I think it would have been better if they called it Fright Fest. But yeah, this is Hellfest. Came out on my birthday in 2018. Again, I bought it the same day as the, the Halloween. 
And yeah, it comes with the 4K Ultra, as you can see, Blu-ray and digital, which I never use the digital. But yeah, it's got Tony Todd in it. It's got the the girl from uh, the Scream TV series, as you could see right down. But um, yeah, it's 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 a pretty good um slasher movie for what it was. Uh, again, I I mainly had an interest in it because it came out on my birthday. But, yeah, it's basically just some random killer who just decides to go to this Fright Fest event, uh, pretty much become part of the the open, you know, hide in plain sight. And he just kills to uh, pe people who come in, and he just stalks them. He just stalks a group of people, this one girl, and he just kills her friends one by one by one. It, it's It's okay for what it is, but... Yeah, there's. I wish they didn't call it Hellfest, but still, it's still, it's still all right. But yeah, it's pretty creative for a slasher film, but it wasn't very successful. But there's no sequel to it, which I think would be good because nowadays sequels are not that great. You know, Maxine wasn't really all that great. Sadly, I wanted to get Halloween Kills and Ends, but they were not as good as 2018. And plus, they're free on Peacock, so I. And we have Peacock. We always use Xfinity. We just... I just never really cared to get them on CD, you know? There's, there's just no point, you know? But yeah, the 2018 movie. These are the last and only Halloween Michael Myers movies that I plan on getting. But Hellfest, there's no sequel for it. Oh, by the way, these are the discs for Halloween 2. Oh, it's got the television version. I forgot about that. Yeah, the television version. <laughs> um, probably quite dumbed down, probably. That's kind of cool. I didn't even know that it came with the television version. And then 2018 comes in the hard hard case box. And these are what the discs look like. Oh, so it just says Halloween on it. Halloween. That's the... Um, the um, code and that's the 4k ultra um the code doesn't work anymore by the way i i know that for a fact it doesn't work anymore so there's no point of even trying it yeah do not discard required to activate offer expires march 22nd 2019 so yeah this is this is a dead code there's there's no point of even trying it but to keep it looking nice i like to keep everything in it but yeah that that's the that's the cd yeah that's that's too bad anyway yeah i wish i could try to do that code again but there's no no chance and then for hellfest it's probably the same thing i'm actually going to check of when the expiration date again cardboard box and this one when does this one uh this one actually doesn't have an expiration date on it but this is the case you know it's a black black for 4k blue for blu-ray yeah yeah how fast so yeah bought the bought this the same day as halloween 2018 and another series of movies that i bought the same day as the 2018 halloween and hellfest is the friday the 13th movies and and this is why i thought i had 13 movies because i saw five and obviously there's eight but these are just regular dvds these are not um these are not um 4k blu-ray whatever they did have them in 4k and blu-ray over the last few years that I noticed them at the mall. But I was like, yeah, I already have them on DVD. What's the point? So it comes with the original. It comes with part two, part three, uh, the final chapter. A New Beginning, Jason Lives, The New Blood, and Jason Takes Manhattan, which is eight movies. Uh, part two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, eight movies. And yeah, so it's regular DVD, like I said. The first movie is uncut, and yeah, so they're all 
bunch of discs at once. Which, that might actually look pretty cool on a Blu-ray, I don't know. Yeah, so that's all my movies. Uh, again, this one is just DVD. The rest of them, besides Halloween 2, are 4K and Blu-ray. Um, which, this is just Blu-ray. But that's all my Halloween movies. Um, I'm probably going to plop in the first Halloween. I, w I really want to see what they all look like in 4K Ultra. So... I'm going to get on that. But anyways, uh, we're supposed to be going to... Uh, yesterday, I had a job. In a, or I'll, I'll make a part two. I'm going to screw it. Yeah, I'll make a part two. Uh, Halloween movie uh, movie collection. You know, that I haven't busted out in years. I don't plan on getting any more movies, by the way. But these are my Halloween movies. And especially, obviously, my favorite is the 40th anniversary. That's... You know, that just stamps how old this movie is. Uh, it's already at the 45 anniversary already. Uh, last year, uh, I think, 78, 80, 78, 70, yeah, 45 years later. So, uh, I didn't get that. I don't plan on buying a Halloween CD every fucking year. I do want the hard case, though. I do want the hard case of the 4K Blu-ray Blu -ray Ultra, but it's it's all in reality. It's all the same movies. It's it's all the same movies. I used to know who, a guy who used to do that a lot. He used to buy like different copies of Star Wars, different copies of Friday the Thirteenth. For fuck's sake, he would buy you know different copies of Halloween. He would have like five copies of this movie with different. Um, He'd have the VHS version. He'd have the fucking original DVD disc. He'd have the the um, 20, 25, 35 year. You know, he, he'd have like different. It, it's been a long time though since I've seen him. But yeah, he had like a different bunch of different hard copies of Halloween. And my cousin has the hard copy of Halloween. I think he lost it though. Or it might be in his storage. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to plop this in. I'm going to make a separate video. Uh, it's probably two or three more videos. I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling like making a bunch of videos right now uh, to get to today. So, yeah. Bye for now.